guys, and welcome back to Reed's Readers with your host, Clinton Reed. And today, i am got a special guest with me, my beautiful roommate, Chantel. Hey. And we have this wonderful project we're going to do. We went to the library today, and we each miraculously ended up with like six or seven books each. Well, okay, maybe I ended up with a little bit more, but... So we've decided we're going to do a little project together. It's not surprising, though. It's really not. <laughs> we're going to do a try a chapter tag, which I've already explained to her kind of what it is. The whole thing is is we read the first chapter, blah, blah, blah. And I've handed her one book. I gave her a book, and then I gave lent her another one to, because she was interested in it to see if she wanted to read it. And she lent me a book, which I will bring up, on if I want to read it, too. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? It's over here. I've already moved oh, it. okay. <laughs> While you were reading synopsis. Yeah, I don't pay attention. But before we get into this, I'm going to show you four little things that I got from the library that's not part of this, but I, I uh, people like to see library halls and stuff like that. When we come... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the books that we got, why we chose them, and stuff like that. And then which ones we're choosing for this try a chapter thing. And then we're going to spend the next week, like, each reading one chapter a day or something and seeing our thoughts, writing down, like, a little bit of notes or something and be like, is this a book that I actually want to read or not? When it comes to my books, though, I want to challenge myself to at least read three of the library books that I got. Not including the ones at the beginning, because then that would be cheating. <laughs> but you'll see in a minute. So, like, when we come back to do this at the end to talk about this, we'll probably be in different clothes, just so you know. But, I have these four that I got from the library that are not part of this. Um, everyone saw me haul Watch Me Disappear last month. I found a different cover at the library with water on the cover, so y'all will be seeing this in my summertime reads readathon. I don't know if this video is going to go up before my vlog or after my vlog. Oh my God. It's right here, next to girl with a dragon tattoo. But like y'all saw that copy, but I found that copy. So it has water on the cover, and I'm using it to cheat for summertime reads because I really want to read this. And we just happen to find a copy with water. It's a pretty copy, though. But we found one with water on the cover, and I'm just like, fuck you, I'm reading it. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> and then I got three graphic novels because last night I was watching Mackie and Alexa talk about their love of DC. And I was just anchoring for some DC graphic novels. So I got Batman Earth 1 Volumes 1 and 2. They will be read. They're not part of this, but they will be read because I've heard amazing things. Um, and I also bought Harley Quinn, which I may try to talk her into like checking it out too. <laughs> because I know she's a huge Harley Quinn fan. And if I enjoy this, I might go... Hey, we have this until the 12th. I still think it's Read it. Wish. Yes, you do. But okay, now I'm going to go into the library books real fast. Go over, actually, we're going to do a thing where I'm going to bring up one book, then she's going to do a book, and then Maybe. I'm going to do a book, and then she'll do a book. Well, Granted, I might, I might help her a little bit <laughs> with some of her synopsis, okay? God, why can I not pronounce that word right? Synopsis. <laughs> Synopsises. I wasn't going to say none. They know what you're talking about. But we're going to go to the library books first. And then we'll do the other three books. The ones that we own so we have a limited amount of time to, like, read said book. I didn't realize that she carried books. And? Okay. I haven't read fairy now, like, ever. Do you want to... I have... Three thrillers over here. No, you're good. Go. You're good. So the first one, y'all are probably going to laugh at me, 
<laughs> but I'm a really big fan of the show, and I've been wanting to read the books, but I don't know if it's going to hold the test of time, because how old is this book? Two thousand six. Well, mm-hmm. thirteen years ago. Well, I got Pretty Little Liars. You may see it during if I like it after this first chapter, then because it's yellow, I might read it for summertime reads. That's the only reason you got it's because it's yellow. Uh, I lack yellow books. <laughs> <laughs> when I see a yellow book, I want to go yellow book. But everyone knows what this is about. A group of friends, one friend dies, and then they get mysterious text messages. I'm not going to go into any further because this is a very popular TV show. And I feel like everyone knows. Yeah, but I will say so far reading the back of it follows at least the first three episodes that I know of. Okay. I don't remember the first season that much, but I remember, like, the first three episodes. But after that, I'm like, it's been a while. Yeah, I've never watched the show, and I'm probably never going to read that one. And now, your first book. Oh, joy. Um, let's see. Let's go with this one, since you know this one way more than I do. Okay, I got this one because he would not stop pounding me to read it, so... Sure, everybody knows what this one is. A Court of Thorns and Roses, very popular on booktube. Beauty and the Beast retelling, fairies, smexy, smexy, smexy times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait till you get to book two. And I do have the audiobook, so we'll get through it. So I'm hoping this is one of the ones that she actually reads the book of, just because I would love to know her thoughts. And I know she's a really big Beauty and the Beast fan, too, so. That's if I have thoughts, but I probably will, because, you know, it's very popular. Okay, so. And I'm over here dropping things. Surprise. Way to stay on brand. (laughs) Um, This next one is very popular on BookTube, too, and came out this month. Oh. June 19th. Nice. I'm like the third person to get it from my library. I, I'm i poor now because we moved recently, so we're still trying to deal with finances right now before we can buy anything like brand spanking new like this. But That's why we went to library. The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta, which, let me do this. Okay, there you go. Y'all see the cover? Gay witches is all I'm going to say. Oh. <laughs> That's literally all I know. It's something about a boy walks into the woods and disappears and then comes back. But yeah, I was told gay witches. But the last boy that went into the woods, you didn't, you did not then. Oh, the whispers. <laughs> but that was like so middle grade. Oh, that's true. Why am I so hyper right now? You always are. <laughs> not surprising. Um, let's go with the other fairy book. Isn't it? Yes. Right. Okay. Pearl print. Just because it's everywhere. I don't like this cover. I like the other cover. She likes the Barnes & Noble's edition. And if y'all know where we can get a Barnes & Noble's edition, if she likes the book, comment down below and let me know. Because I know they're really hard to find. And I would just like to get it for her for her like collection of she just likes pretty covers. Yeah, my downfall. Everyone knows fairies, something about pair of sisters kidnapped after their parents were murdered and dragged to the high court. I'm not that big of a fan of Holly Black, but to each their own. She might enjoy it. We read different things. Very different. Very different. Like, But I don't judge by authors. If it's a nice, sounds okay, I'm like, okay. I don't usually judge by authors, but if I have read something previously from them and it's left a bad taste in my mouth. Right. I can't remember you saying that. Okay. Story behind this real fast. I read the the first two, or I finished Tithe, loved Tithe by her, but I tried to read Valiant, and Valiant literally got to a scene where this girl was getting pressured 
to take this drug that was stolen from fairies so she could see fairies. And to me, back when the books came out, they were labeled middle, middle grade even though they were YA. I don't think it's right to tell a child to it's okay to be peer pressured to go ahead and go, Yay! Let's take the drug! Let's go see some fairies. Yeah. <laughs> not about that life. Um, this book came out in May and I had my... I placed it on hold the minute the library told me it was going to get it. This is one of my most anticipated reads of the year, so it'll probably be one of the ones I actually get read. Pretty much the reason why we went to the library today. <laughs> Kings, Queens, and In-Betweens by Tanya or Tanya Botiju. Botiju? Not even on track. What? There's the pretty cover. All I know is it about a girl, girl or guy, girl, who gets introduced to drag scene. The minute I heard drag queens and drag kings and stuff being introduced into a book, I was like, I'm kind of intrigued because I've never seen that in a novel before. It's a type of the gay culture that is never touched upon. And as someone who used to do drag a lot... And kind of like went down a spiraling dark hole, but we will never but discuss that. But you got there. That. I know. That's why she's kind of put up for now. <laughs> she's in our whole closet. Yeah. She used to be the dead hooker in the trunk, so. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but drag queens, I, I love my drag queens. I have a drag family full of drag queens that are freaking phenomenal. And I just want to see it done in a book, and I want to be the judge on if it's done correctly or not. Because I know the culture. Mm. I feel like I'm one that would be like, hey, I like this. Um, yeah, see if you can relate. I want to see if the author got it right. Um, okay. Got Daughter of a Pirate King. Just because I see it on my Audible app, like, here, you should get this, like, on everything. So I was like, okay. So, here I am. But I had to gotten into more piracy things. Her favorite book right now is The Sky in the Deep by... I don't know, sorry. Oopsie. Adrian Young. Yes. I knew it was Young. I didn't know the first name. I knew Adrian. I couldn't think of the last name. <laughs> Why didn't we say it? <laughs> Whatever. We usually like to say anyway. <laughs> but, and then I also suggested this one to her because if she really liked Sky in the Deep, which is Vikings, and she's been looking for things that are similar to Vikings, but not necessarily a Viking story, I was like, why not try pirates? And she has a couple of pirate <laughs> books in there that she wants to get to eventually, but I was like... This one's a very popular one, and it's just a duology, so if she likes it, she could try the second one. Oh, okay, I didn't know it was a duology. That makes it a lot easier, because it's just not very many pages, it doesn't mm. look like. It's Daughter of the Pirate King, and then... 111 pages. Daughter of the Siren Queen, I think. Yes. Something Daughter like that. Daughter of the Siren Queen. So I'm like, it, it's a good duology for her. But yeah. We'll see, though. She also likes Strong, Powerful Women, and... I've heard she's a very strong, powerful woman in that book, I think, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, she lets herself be captured so she can search a ship, so, I mean, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Okay, this book's going to make one of my friends really, 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 really happy. I did it, Jillian. I got the book you wanted me to freaking read. And that is Eleanor and Park... By Rainbow Rowell, as we all know, Fangirl is one of my all-time favorite books, because I have you to have it. You tried to get me to get today, but I kind of didn't. I tried, but <laughs> she's not big into contemporary. I felt like that one might be one that you might get into, though, one day. I can do a movie contemporary all day long. It's just reading it, I can't stay focused. Well, this one, she gets lost in fantasy worlds and stuff like that, because she's writing fan fiction. She's writing oh, Carry On. She's writing Carry oh, On okay. in the book. That's cool. 
that's the only reason why I thought maybe that one might be something you might try. You may not like, but you might try. It sounds cool, but I don't know if I can read it. I, I just need them to pick that up as a movie, because I know this one's picked up for a movie, so like, do that one. I want that one more. But my friend Jillian's been asking me to read this for a while now, and I was like, I saw it at the library, and I was like, all right, I guess. We'll at least try it and see if it's something that I'm interested in. It's one that I'm like, the premise never really interested me. Mm. But if one of my closest friends love it, I might love it. You might give it a I'm at least going to give it a try a chapter. Try. Oh, right, my turn. Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you can see so she's new to this. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the height difference, she's really not this much taller than me. It's just the chairs we're having to use are just like a different height. Just that's as low as that one will go, and this is as high as this one will go. And I don't feel like sitting on my ankles and well, stuff to look taller. Well, you have a computer desk chair. I have, like, a hair salon thing because I like to sit up high when I do my stuff getting ready for work. So. Okay, I got War right here. Do you see that, maybe? By Cora, Cora Cormac. There, there we go. go. Yes. I love this cover. I seen it on that book app with the... Audible? No. Or Goodreads? Goodreads, no. The ones that are cheap that you buy. Book Outlet or Thrift Books? Book Outlet, I think. And I actually have this in my cart, and then he ended up having it on a shelf, and then when we went today, I was like, oh, this is a hardback copy. I'm going to get this one. And if she likes it, if she actually reads that one, I'll actually move this one up higher on my list. I like this because she finds a third way out of what she's told to do so um she kind of just doesn't rely on men i guess she wants to take care of it herself so i figure it's a good strong female that's totally my, my alley also really <laughs> fun fact real fast this book is the first book i ever won in a giveaway and it was from completely melanie and i still haven't got to it yet because i'm a garbage human <laughs> So, let's just say I get too many books and books like just move down the shelf. But it has never left my shelf since I got it. No, it's actually featured. So. Yeah, it's featured down there. You just can't see it on camera. Yeah. When I get my new shelves and do my new thing, yeah, it'll be a little bit higher up. Yeah, so you can actually cover from the way you have it. So, it's really pretty. Yeah. So, my next book... I got solely for the fact of the author. They only had two books by this author at the library, and I just happened to stumble across them, and everyone's been wanting me to try her out, and that is Karen Slaughter. I got The Good Daughter. It's not quite the one I would, like, have started with, but us just walking around and I just happened to see it. I would wanted to try, what's it called? Pretty Girls. You want her books? Yes. Wow. And I was told that I know nothing about this book. I was told never to go into her books knowing what's going on. Because it's a thriller, go in blind. Oh, right. Um, and I was also told by a couple of people that this author has legitimately made them throw up because it's so realistic and you feel so disgusted on what the killer does. But that was with Pretty Girls. I haven't heard much on this one. I don't know how I feel about that. I like things that, like, are so real that you're like, I you, want nightmares. You read faster than I do, so it would take me forever to get through that moment, so I'd die. <laughs> 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 I would die. But, like, this is one that I'm actually really interested in seeing what my thoughts would be of Karen Slaughter, because if I like the writing, like, she has a whole, like, you can't see, a whole list of books that I would love to try her out, because this is what, like, Three of my friends on BookTube's favorite author. Ignore the cat. We have a cat. Glenn does not like closed doors. You've heard Glenn in multiple of my videos. Especially since I'm in here. Yes. And if she's in here and that door is closed, he thinks he needs to be in here and he's not allowed in here. Because I have too many pretties behind me. I don't trust any animal near my pretties. <laughs> <laughs> Not after Khaleesi went after your Graceling. I was 
so upset about oh. that. The only hard copy I've ever found of Graceling, and she tore it up. Yes, that was sad. Your vet. Oh, right. Where's my other one? Got Passenger. But Alexandra Bracken, mm. the author of. I said it earlier. Darkest Flames. Oh, rats. I was like, I said it earlier when you got the book. What is it called? I have a headache, so I like, I, it's... <laughs> we talk about way too much sometimes. We really do. Um, I like the back. It was basically like, who's trying to kill you? Why is this happening? What's going on already? So, and if she likes this, it's also another duology. Yes. Yes. Because they had book two, I've seen it. I almost got it, but I'm like, let me get the first one first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. And she doesn't read as much as I do, but she is a reader. She's just wanting to get back into it. Yeah, it's been a minute. So. Last year, she read quite a bit. I mean, I wouldn't call that quite a bit when you could do that in one month. And? Glenn! It's, it's okay. okay, Glenn. We'll be out in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Because the back of it was a pretty cover. cover. I do like that cover, that city and that bottle. It's not like it's Los like Angeles. Kind of, yes. And then it looks like the ship's underneath it. And then... Oh, I didn't even notice that! And the it's really creepy. I like that. So, you have to tell me if you like it or not. Definitely. And one of your favorite authors is... One of the authors she just showed is blurbed on the top. Trapped you by the heart from its opening notes. It doesn't let like go until it's knocked, knocked out blockbuster finale. So, come out. Yeah. And now my last library book, and then we'll get into the book that I am going to actually try to read. Because she showed me the movie to it, and now I'm very intrigued. Oh. But <laughs> I got another thriller, and I just found this one as we were about to leave. We were about to leave the library, and I was like, hey, that's in my book outlet order right now that I'm kind of curious when I get the money to purchase. Right, and I was like, do it. That way you don't buy something you don't like. And that is The Current by Tim John Johnston. Like, the cover is, like, so much ice. And what drew my attention is this very first paragraph. Glenn, baby. In the dead of winter, outside a small Minnesota town, state troopers pull two young women and their car from the icy Black Root River. One woman is found downriver drowned, while the other is found at the scene, half frozen but alive. What the fuck happened is what I want to know. <laughs> nah, they know that I, I can't control words. Word vomit. I'm a garbage human, okay? We've established this. <laughs> We've established that the queers from the Bible Belt were all garbage humans, but people love us. Um, I don't agree with that. I'm meaning like Spencer and Kansas and Rhiannon and Texas. Three booktubers, and we're all queer. Totally a different story. I'll explain later. Mm. But yeah, I got it just because I'm curious about it, and I wanted to give it a try before I decided to buy it. And it's a thriller, I might, like, not need to buy it after I read it. If this is one that I read. And if I don't like it, it's coming straight out of that cart real quick. And it'll make room for something else that I want more. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Now your last library book. Yeah. Before we get into the other three books. Oh, that's right. Mm. Alright. I got given to the sea. Oh my gosh, I don't know which way I'm going here. <laughs> okay. It's by Mindy McGinnis, which is also a really popular author, but this is like one of the most least popular books I've put to. I just like the cover right now. We'll get into that, like, see if I like the book later. Um, I found it on Pinterest, actually, because I look up book um, covers on Pinterest, and then... If I like the book cover, I'll save it, and if I find it later, I get the book. So, 
that's how I find most of my book covers. So if you want to find a way to do that, go to Pinterest and look up book covers, and you'll find a whole bunch. That's where she finds a lot of like indie authors and stuff that I find very interesting and would love to check out their books. Because she finds all these covers, and I'm like, that's really pretty. Yeah, well, what that's is the so book about? And I'm like, I always go to Goodreads, and I type in the book, and I'm like, oh, it's a good book for her, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm like, oh, she's not going to like that book. <laughs> this is one that she could end up liking, because she doesn't tend to follow the popularity Normally, she likes reads the book first, and then they become popular after. Kind of like I, got, I do. But I got behind, so now I really don't know what's popular right now. But I will state, the only the, the only reason why I know this one is because the fact that it's like a two or one or two star rating on Goodreads. Yeah, that's not very good, but at least I'm going to try it because I don't know who else read it. I don't know them, and I don't know if they like the way I read, so I'm like... Yeah. Eh, how like accurate can that be? Because they're not me. And it's a good thing to be getting this from like the library. Exactly. So no harm, no foul. So I mean, I'm spending money on it, so as long as it's not late, <laughs> that's the kicker right there. Well, if you end up wanting to read all of them, you could just be like, hey, go up there and be like, I just want to recheck the others out and see what's up. Well, some of them are have to get rechecked out because I am a slow reader, guys. Yeah. I'm still waiting for her to read Escaping from Houdini. Well, I kind of took a break. You know that. My I mean, we'll sometimes. be rereading that series later this year when the last one comes out. I'll take this one. Like, I have to have glasses to read. Because right? I'll read makes. the first two and then be like, hey, you're reading the third one with me so that we can read the novella and then the fourth one. Oh, right, yeah. I need to. Well, I do have the audiobook for it already, so I'll just have to do it. Because I can't wait for the novella, Becoming a Prince. It's all about Thomas Crestville and how he got to where he is. Like, it's like a prequel all I about Thomas. I might like that one because I like Thomas. I like, I like him a lot. Thomas. Mr. Crestville. Okay. Now into the books that we gave each other to check out. See what, like, they like the book. Let's see if you like the book. I'm very surprised though because you don't like Angel. I normally don't, but she made me watch the movie and I'm very intrigued to see if I want to continue on with the books because I want to know what happens. Well, at least not the first two. Knowing this book came out... Oh, nice. 2009? Yeah, it's two years. But PC Cast is blurbed on the cover. I just saw that. Let me just tell you what the book is. And that is Fallen by Lauren Kate. What if the person you were meant to be with could never be yours? Like, I want to go into it blind. Like, I know the movie. But I don't know if I remember too much of the movie, to be perfectly well, honest. a little bit of more detail in the book. So, and the fact that PC cast, the author of one of my all-time favorite series, House of Night, is sexy and fascinating and scary. I loved, loved, loved it. So I'm like, I'm intrigued. If PC likes it, then I'm like, why not? Y'all. Yeah. But this is one that I'm going to attempt to read. I will give it at least 100 pages before I make up my mind. It's one of those I like when it's the one that I'm like, eh. And this is one that I'm going to attempt to read in July. I want to focus on the library books first because they got to go back. But I want to try to find a, like, maybe, if y'all want a video diary of me reading this, this might actually push me to read the full thing. <laughs> and me, like, go, oh my god! But there is an audiobook to it, so, I mean, if you do there's not really a reason not to finish it. Touche. If you want to get technical. Touche. You just listen to it. Now let's go into the two books. One that you saw on my shelf just because you liked the cover, and then the other one I gave you. <laughs> this is the one that I gave her because I had an extra I'm copy of Slayer. Dang. I'm and it's also signed by the author. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I got frightened. So, 
I ended up having to buy another copy of it so I could see the author, so, and the original friend I was going to give this to, I haven't talked to in, like, a couple, since we went to the concert, the pink concert, whenever the hell that was, I think that was back in March. Life gets busy, but she's a Buffy fan, too. I've kind of filled her in on the parts of Buffy she hasn't seen. Like, she's not, like, a diehard Buffy fan like me well, and Mel are. I just, you know, didn't know when it came on again, you know. Yeah. Uh, but everyone knows Slayer is pretty much about the last Slayer. I don't want to tell her more than that. Because I want her to go into it enjoying it without me having to tell her. Spoilers. Yeah. I'm trying not to do any spoilers. Because this is, out of the two that I handed her, this is the one that I have read. The other one I haven't, but she saw the cover. She doesn't like it. And then she saw that I had two copies of this on my shelf, so she's like, I want to read this, and if I like this, then you're going to read this. And that's A Shadow Bright and Burning. Um, the Chosen Sorceress might not be the actual Chosen Sorceress. This is the only thing I really know about this series. Well, who is it? And I know Mel from Mel... Whoa. Mel from Completely Melanie, not Mel to the any. We have way that. too many Mel's oh. on BookTube. But from Completely Melanie sent me this book, and it's one of her all-time favorite series oh. now. Yeah. So, and it's a really pretty cover, so she'll have to tell me if she enjoys it or not. So vivid characters and terrifying monsters. The return of six and Spark Pitch. Victoria Avar. Red Queen. Red Queen. So those are the books. That I don't know about her name. Well, she had a better name. Henrietta. Yeah. Henrietta Howell. Ow! <laughs> is all I think every time I read that last name. <laughs> Even though it's spelled wrong for the actual like Howell, but. What is reading that? Henrietta Howell. Oh, up there. Okay, I was reading down here. <laughs> but. Because the fact, how long have we been talking? Oh. We've been talking a bit because it's now on to filming a second video because we went past the, the mark. Where's the mark? Like 30 minutes. No way. <laughs> 20, 30 minutes, something like that. And now it's on like a second video because it says four minutes up there at the top. Wow. Okay. So instead of doing a full collective video of us doing this, I will po be posting this before my summertime reads vlog so that y'all know what our goal is for the upcoming like week. And I will be doing this, this reading challenge while I'm reading my books for summertime reads because I want to have fun. Good luck. It's the first chapter. I could do one oh, chapter yeah, a day from easy. each book. And, but we will come back on another video when we've done that and I will, we will talk about which ones we're enjoying, which ones we actually want to read, which ones we never want to touch ever again. If this was a good idea that we should have done this, or are we idiots? <laughs> that can be uh, debatable. And if this actually goes well, I'm going to try to talk her into doing this with me a couple of times. Ooh, and we make like a, like a series of this. If you guys enjoy it, if we enjoy it, that's the thing. Chantel has been on my channel before with another project of mine that I never read any of those books. But might not recognize me. Shorter hair, twenty five pounds heavier. So <laughs> Hell, next time you see her in the video she just might disappear. <laughs> Cause she is losing that weight like this. <laughs> hard work though <laughs> I can imagine I'm going to be losing weight next week just through stress and sweating yeah. between inventory at work and this and sometimes oh, girl we're going to have some fun <laughs> but, but yeah that's all I'm going to say that's, that's all we've really got to say about all these books like these are the six that I'm going to do the try a chapter on I don't know if I should attempt picking up six books. It might end up all over four. You want to hand me the books? 
And I will hold them up. The other ones that aren't library books, we can like wait on because there's no like real end goal for yeah. them. There we go. And then these are the lovely books. It. I just stuck them on there. Grab that one. Thank you. <laughs> cool. <Yeah>. <laughs> And these are the six books she's going to read the first chapter of, and hopefully at least read one of these. Those are all thick books for me, so... I like thick books and I cannot lie. All <laughs> oh, these brothers can't deny. Sorry. But yeah, these are the six books she's going to attempt. I got some thick ones over there, too. But you, you read more. This is you. Yeah, but I've got like thrillers over there that are gonna make me puke. You've got fairy fluffy fluffiness over here. Well, okay, these aren't really fluffy fairies. Both of these are like kill you and like rape you type fairies. But <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I I was thinking cruel prince because I've heard there's like one in there that's like very evil and like oh, wants to kill you. But he's like one of the bad the other guys. Everyone's like that because of the sea. Because she has to be produce an heir. No. What did I get myself into? <laughs> <laughs> but those are the 12 books that we're going to try to read at least the first chapter of and go from there. And we will be back with video number two when we've read all the chapters. Okay, I might give us a little bit longer than a week. Just because of summertime reads. Yeah. I might give us like a the length of summertime reads, which is till the end of the month. I'm gonna do my best. I usually don't finish a lot because I DNF a lot, but that's fine though. You can DNF if you're not into it. You're not into it. But the goal is to okay. I'm gonna set some rules. Oh, here we go. Just the first chapter. Fantastic. What? Just the first chapter is all that's needed for this little project. Oh, okay. Well, okay. You can continue afterwards if you find one that you're really into, but at least read the first chapter of all of them. And if they have a prologue, and if the prologue is not that long, <laughs> unlike the prologue in this one is 37 pages, or 39, something like that, um, read the prologue and the first chapter. Because sometimes prologues are like three pages. Oh, yeah. And if chapters are like three pages, then at least try to get to like a decent amount of pages so that you get like a little bit of the story, you know? Because some thrillers and stuff have like James Patterson, their chapters are like six pages. Hmm. But, but yeah, so we will be back in like a week and a half, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'll push her to it. At least the first chapter. You could do a chapter before bed. Well, right. I want to try to get through some of them. You know, I want to push myself to get back into it. So, and I'm really interested in Roar and Passenger. So. And Akatar. Yeah, those are the like three I really want to try. The others are just. Um, we'll see if we get see, there. See, that's why I was like, if we do like a week of just reading the first chapter, that way we each know which one that we're more interested in reading. Yeah, because I, I have the. Uh, audiobook to Akatar. So that one is, is definitely getting done. Another thing, she likes her audiobooks because they help her focus more on the books themselves because sometimes she gets headaches and stuff from reading and stuff like that because she's not used to doing it as much these days. No, I have a focusing issue. My eyes Oh, well, don't the focus, other is that too. So, and it can't be fixed because I don't have say, my corneas, so like they won't. Yeah. LASIK, so. But yeah, that's all we've got for you guys today. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Um, if you're new to this channel and you so choose that you want to see more of this garbage human, apparently, you're the one saying hit that, that subscribe. And if you've read any of these books, comment down below and tell us your thoughts on the books without any spoilers. Because, you can for me, uh, because if you comment down below and you've read any of these, they might sway us to read more than just the first chapter. Yeah. 
to give us like a thought of, hey, this person really, really loved it. So maybe there's something I didn't see. Yeah, I've had books where I had to get through the whole book just to get to the third one and I loved the third, so I can see that. Or there's some that you get through the first two and then really hate the third and the final. We're not going to go there. <coughs> Why, you, Jay? <coughs> Sorry, I had a bird stuck in my throat. I'm sure. But so my favorite I'm just going to leave you guys with this. Remember, kids, reading is what? Fundamental. Until next time. Bye. I totally forgot you hate that. <laughs>